name's Mike Robotham, aka Robo. Uh, trained at Thunder Bay, originally from Barrie, Ontario. Trained with Gary Goodridge, and uh, this is my professional debut. My name's Tim Shady Smith. I'm from Edmonton, Alberta. I'm five and four. I train with the A team. I don't really hire any coaches or anything like that. I sort of just work with other fighters and they teach me something, I'll teach them something. It's a really good trade-off. I train Muay Thai Kickbox and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I'm trained by Steve Bergeron. Uh, we train hard military style. We're, we're ready to bang anytime. He's fought nine times. Uh, he fought over a Bodog. I watched that fight and, uh, you know, wasn't really impressed. So it's time for me to play the SmackDown. I don't know nothing about Mike Robotham. Uh, I know he's 0-0 since so his first fight. He came in from Toronto. That's about all I know from him. He's wearing a wrestling shirt at the way so I'll just take it. He's going to try and take me down the ground and pound. I know his nickname is Shady. Wow. Shady. You know, the only thing Shady you're going to see is he stand over his body at the end of the match. That sucks. Mike Robotham, he flew a long way in from Toronto. I uh, feel sorry for your time. He came to put in to make a debut against me. I don't know what they're thinking, but I'll see you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, our next fight of the evening first, in the blue corner, Mike Robotham. Mike Robotham making his mixed martial arts debut, hailing from a Thunder Bay, Ontario. An interesting story. This youngster weighed in at 205 pounds in grade three. He is 6-0 in amateur MMA. A 2007 Greater Toronto Area Submission Tournament champion, but a story that, uh, well, is not fully supported by his family. His parents against him fighting. He didn't even tell him he was coming to Calgary to fight tonight. He actually said he was going to be cornering somebody else. His dad found out that he was going to be participating through surfing the web. So, needless to say, Mike Robotham uh, putting himself in harm's way when it comes to his family, Stephen. But this guy has a high pedigree in wrestling, and we'll get to that momentarily. Uh, and his opponent in the red corner, Tim Smith. Tim Shady Smith, hailing from Ed Edmonton, Alberta. Known for his strong stand-up skills and cardio. Recently baptized a Mormon. Not every day that happens to mixed martial arts. No, that's a, that's, a, that's a new one, but uh, hopefully it'll help him get into the win column tonight. Really good with stand-up, but he claims that he's weak in the wrestling department, and this will be a true test because his opponent, Mike Robotham, has really, really got some wrestling credentials. Robotham discovered wrestling in grade nine, been doing it for four years, a 2006 Canadian freestyle wrestling champion and the current national Greco-Roman wrestling champion. He entered that tournament, as he put it, just for fun, ended up winning, is now training now, for the Olympic 12. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this fight will be fought in the HCF middleweight division. It'll be contested over three five-minute rounds, and the man in charge of the action is Mr. Kyle Cardinal. First, in the blue corner from Barrie, Ontario, training out of Go Ricky Gym, trained by Gary Goodridge. He is a submission fighting stylist. He is five foot nine, weighing in at 185 pounds. He is making his professional debut, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Robotham. Uh, and his opponent in the red corner, fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta. Training of the A-Team Edmonton, trained by crew Steve Bergeron in a Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu style. He is 5'10", he weighed in at 183 and a half pounds. He has a record of five wins, four losses, with one knockout and three submissions. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Shady Smith. Iceberg Vodka, tail of the tape. Michael Robotham is 18, 5'8", 185 pounds, making his MMA debut. Tim Shady Smith, 24, 5'10", 185 pounds, with an MMA record of 5 and 4. Kyle Cardinal signals for the bell, and we are underway three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Robotham making his MMA debut, has been training with the likes of Big Daddy Gary Goodridge for 18 months, and we've already talked about his accomplishments as a wrestler. 
and he immediately goes for the takedown into the close guard of Shady Smith. Tim Smith didn't do much to block that takedown, uh, but now we're going to see his guard game. We do see that he has an open guard. Uh, let's see if he can hip over and go for a submission or at least a reversal from this position. Doing a good job of controlling Robotham's head, not allowing him to posture. One thing I see about Robotham, even though he's only 18 years old, he seems very composed in this, comp uh, this position. Yeah, again, having competed at a high level in wrestling, has wrestled in Cuba, told me a very interesting story about the conditions in that country. Uh, and now, of course, uh, behind his parents' back, making his mixed martial arts debut here at Hardcore Championship Fighting, and there, creating some distance, and dropping a left hand, and another left connects. And he hits him again, and this time Smith turning his back to Robotham momentarily. There's the body lock, Stephen again securing a takedown. Mike did really well and really accurately standing, and it's a little bit of a surprise to me because many times there's a, a longer transition for a wrestler to achieve that kind of striking. I'm impressed so far. And he goes back to his natural instinct, securing the takedown with the body lock, although Smith now working on neutralizing his arms and trying to work from the guard, very active from the bottom. Smith with double overhooks and a closed guard. We may see a restart by the referee if Mike can't get his arms free. Of his five victories, Smith has recorded three submission wins. In fact, he's coming off his biggest win yet in May of this year, submitting Jason Bigman via triangle choke at Warzone 2007 in his hometown of Edmonton. And you can see him now trying to maneuver, maybe possibly attempting a Kimura, but you can see Robotham moving with him, doing a good job from the top position. One thing I'm seeing about Robotham, Robotham does have wrestling and he, get, and he can get the fight to the floor, but then what can he do once it's in this position? Right. Because he hasn't tried to pass the guard and his ground up pound hasn't been that effective as of yet. And he works from a wide base, but Smith, again, very active on the bottom, trying to shrimp his hips and now maybe going from an arm bar on the bottom, but Robotham trying to back out. Referee Kyle Cardinal overseeing the proceedings. But you're right, not a lot of power behind those shots and finally kicked away by Tim Smith and they're back up on their feet, much to the delight of the crowd here at the Corral in Calgary. That was actually a really gutsy move of Mike to let Tim back up because Tim, that's where he's dangerous. Oh, that was a good knee by Tim, but he gets taken down again by Robotham. Robotham on top, open guard for Tim Smith on the bottom. Uh, not a lot of action. We're seeing a pattern already develop. Tim Smith isn't being as active, but he does try a roll over there. Now and he's, he's look looking for the Kimura now. Exactly. On the right arm, and Robotham not used to this territory in wrestling, and now maybe going for a arm bar, just simple key lock here by Smith. Now Smith needs to get his hips turned clockwise. Releases it, and Robotham survives that submission attempt, but again, not doing much from the top. And uh, referee Cardinal, again, the onus is on Robotham to improve his position. It really is, because taking someone down is one thing, but what can you do? Can you try and finish the fight from here? Just controlling the action is not going to cut it, because we will see a restart, but we do see Tim being active now and from a defensive position smith is actually trying to finish the fight via the submission attempts with the kimura now it looked like he was attempting a guillotine there momentarily yeah he, he, not going to be lucky in the guard yeah he's being much more active from the guard we did see mike land a few shots standing up and get a couple takedowns so this will be a hard round to score for the judges depends on their criteria and what they favor and of course mike robotham at 18 new to the mixed martial arts world and a definitely a, a different landscape than wrestling and it, while wrestling is a great base to begin your mixed martial arts training in the year 2007 mr fight professor you need a hell of a lot more to be considered a mixed martial artist yeah you really do but then again the guy's only 18 so he can only grow from here but this is a fight and it's in hardcore championship fighting so he's got to really put forth his best effort and i'm sure he's been watching grounded pound of some of the great fighters, Coleman. Oh, and he's controlling him like a Sean Shirk or a, a Matt Hughes, not that you want to compare uh, a rookie like Mike Robotham to those superstars, 